there, and welcome to another one of our wild and magical adventures. You know, friends, over many years, Shannon and I have encountered many different types of unusual creatures. And many different types of endangered species. These animals occur in all different sizes, shapes, and colors. From the tiniest of microscopic insects to the largest of elephants. Or even the tallest of giraffes. And you know, friends, many of these species of plants and animals become extinct every day for many different reasons. Of course, the creatures we go in search of today are said to be amongst the most ancient of all. That's right. These animals have survived here since before, during, and even after the dinosaurs. So we invite you to join us now as we go in search of the reptiles. Amphibians consist of frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders. Today we go in search of one of the more majestic and colorful of all these amphibious creatures known as the tiger salamander. These animals have survived here for more than 300 million years. They are amongst the most ancient of all living land dwellers today. Safari! The skin of an amphibian is quite delicate. These salamanders spend a lifetime underneath rocks or logs and emerge only at nighttime to go in search of their food. Salamanders prefer one of the most ancient of all delicacies on the planet. These, of course, are the insects. Over millions of years of environmental changes, the Earth has revealed this ancient boneyard. But the animals and life forms that exist here have learned to cheat, drought, and famine. The African spur tortoise is the world's largest mainland tortoise. At a size of about 150 to 200 pounds, these tortoises here can live up to 150 to 200 years. Wow, this has a lot to do with all the fruits and vegetables they like to eat. Of course, they're herbivores. That's what that means. They just like to eat fruits and vegetables. No meat for this character here. And take a good look at his shell. He's designed with all these fabulous features. Look here under his neck. He's got these two big horns. This means he's a boy. The boys have them to joust or fight with one another. You see, they'll flip each other onto their backs uh, to, to fight for different things like territory or food or even females. Now, as we know, all animals play crucial roles in their environment simply by balancing out nature. But in the case here of the tortoise, well, he plays an important role by scattering seeds about in his natural environments. Look at the mess he's created here. This would be very beneficial in his environment. You see, by spreading all of those seeds, he's building future growth for future animals. Very beneficial. As of today, we discover close to 27 different species of crocodilians. They consist of caimans, gharials, crocodiles, and alligators alike. The crocodiles are certainly amongst the most widespread, with a variety of species. Amongst them are the superpowers and predators of the reptile kingdom, as in the case of the Australian saltwater crocs, or the Nile crocodile of the Old World, achieving lengths of over 7 meters long. Yet they dwarf in comparison to their ancient relatives of the past, the super crocs from millions of years ago once reached lengths of over 15 meters. Still today, we discover many different species, and amongst them are the tiniest of crocodilians as well. As in the case of this creature, the West African dwarf crocodile, which will only achieve a length of 2 meters long, yet still a super predator of their natural surroundings of West Africa. There are more than 5 million different species of plants and animals that live in our biosphere, and they all depend on each other for survival. However, today on this Earth, species are disappearing at an astonishing rate, and they're not being replaced. That's right. In fact, it's important for everyone to remember that every living creature has a job to do or a role to play, mm -hmm. from the tiniest of ants to even the largest of rhinos, and the reptiles are no exception. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Shannon. And I'm Safari Jeff. And we'll see you next time from the rainforest of Costa Rica.
Well, you know, Shannon and I have been together for uh, over 12 years now, and we've taken the program from Newfoundland to Vancouver Island every year. We, we share a, a very important message, uh, that is the balance of nature and conservation, a uh, very positive message on the importance of the wildlife that we, we share this environment with. <laughs> My name is Shannon. I'm here with Safari Jeff, the Safari Jeff. Let me give you a little backstage tour so you can see what it's all about. This is how it all works. This is the secret operation behind the scenes. Timing and packaging. Let's go out on stage. Jeff and Shannon. Jeff, yes. when you call the Four Seasons and you say, I'm bringing a few pets, is that okay? <laughs> when you say they make great pets, I can hear all, hear all the parents out there going, no, no. Throughout the program, my partner, Shannon, and myself will present about 10 or 11 different animals. The African bullfrog. Merino is a black jaguar. American alligators. Father Time is an African spur tortoise. The giant anaconda. This is a Burmese python. This is one of the heaviest snakes on Earth. At a full-grown size, they would be as big around as a basketball. basketball. No way. We're making a getaway, Jeff. Do I have to be concerned about this? Not at all, Dave, actually. This is top speed, so uh, <laughs> we're as tall as Father Time. So Jeff and Shannon! 